Welcome crypto fam to the testnet of Aspect. Uh, Aspect was previously Play Oasis. I hope we've done it um, because I um, I think we've done it. I've also done it I think three four months ago. But um, this is pretty good to use it now because first of all they have changed their theme. They are uh, something new now, so it's always good to try out um, the new protocol. Makes sense. And the other thing is um, that the Argent wallet um, yeah had updated or had updates and now every one of you had to make a new account just like me and migrate their funds over and um, the airdrop or airdrops won't happen on the old test accounts so um, yeah this is another point why you should use the uh, new products and also the new wallet to get eligible for future airdrops there for using their testnet so um, let's hop right into it and um, just do it because it's very easy so first of all if you don't have enough test funds Copy your address, head over to the uh, faucet and put it in and get yourself 0.002 Ethereum. I think uh, that's what I got. So uh, then hop over to Aspect and just connect with your wallet. Just click on it, click on the wallet you want to use. If you want me to make a little video about Bra the Bravos wallet, um, yeah, feel free to tell me so I can uh, showcase it to you. But it's um, not very complicated. But still, if you want it, I can do it. But let's continue. Click on Argent and we are connected. First thing we want to do is click on Create. And um, yeah, just upload a picture. Uh, let's say um, I'm just going to use the KDA Bet logo and uh, put in KDA um, Bet. And then, um, 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 I don't know, uh, let's just put in this and then click on Create. So now you won't have to do anything. Maybe you'll have to... Um, confirm something in your wallet but this can take up uh, to 10 minutes it took me like five minutes but um, I also have to say I didn't have any problems with those transactions or approving something um, or sending a transaction so it, it really went uh, fast so yeah after you uh, do this just wait a few minutes and this will disappear or first of all say okay um, I, I, I don't know it's successful or something and um, after you've done this um, I'll just continue and um, when we are done, you'll see that my NFT is created. But after you are done, you can click on the cell tab or on your profile tab, but we can directly hop over to the cell tab and then you will see your NFTs here. So um, after, yeah, after you mint your NFT, you will see it here and then you can click on it if you wish and click on list for sale. Very easy and type in how much you want to sell it for. So in my case, 0 .00, uh, let's make it 0.002. Here you can see the 3% market fees and how much we will get if someone buys it, which is also no problem at all. After this, just click on sign and also try to not click on a list for sale or buy uh, a few hundred times because I did it and then I had 20 messages to sign. Um, but with that also being said, if we now click on sell, you can already see that we have listed our NFT up for sale. This is one I also bought. And um, after you've done this, you can also click on buy and then buy an NFT. Um, you can click up here and then sort from price low to high so you get the, um, yeah, the cheapest NFT. And if you find one, click on it, click on buy now. You can also make an offer, which is not, um, which you don't need to do here if you've got enough Ethereum. As you can see, uh, um, okay, this, this is now actually, um, this is actually... Interesting, maybe because somebody just bought it now, or maybe because I don't have any more um, any more Ethereum. Let's just try it out and see if it works now. Okay, um, I don't know what happened. Uh, what happened there? Okay, I guess I don't have any more Ethereum. Let's just check it, and um, if I don't, then you know why this is happening. Okay, zero point zero zero one. So basically, it should work. I don't know why it's working. Um, uh, um, so now this is the first time something uh, um, I have some bugs or better said it doesn't work out for me here. But that's why we try our test nets. We can also send over some feedback. But as I said, I don't know um, if this is actually because something of the fees or why not, blah, blah, blah. Now it seems to work. So let's click on approve and see if our NFT is bought. And after that, we'll again hop over to the sell function. So sorry for this little cut, but... Um, I didn't notice that my recording stopped because I don't have any more space left. But um, yeah, we just, um, I think we just bought an NFT. As you can see, it is now successfully bought. Um, if we get over to the sell function, first of all, you can see that my other NFT we have created earlier 
is now up here, the owner and creator am I, and this is the NFT I bought earlier, not the one I just bought, but um, yeah, you can see that the buying, selling and creating function uh, works, or better that should work. Let's see if I refresh uh, the page, if the NFT I just bought is already here. Perfect, it is here. So as you can see, everything works fine. Now I don't know if um, the arrow uh, from before was because I didn't have enough for the fees or if it was um, um, from the wallet side or I don't know, but this should be it. I also think that I forgot to mention that um, the influencers or um, um, supporter or uh, investors, however you want to call it, are like the co-founder of uh, Coinbase, who uh, Ventures, um, Starknet, um, Echo, I think eco, um, ecosystem himself and some bigger names. So um, yeah, so this test that could be good for future airdrops, for early roads, for uh, pull ups, for NFTs. I don't know. Just do it and then we'll see. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.